Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to uh, post another video and uh, just show uh, kind of an update of what I've got going on. I went from a 9 blade to a 12 blade um, setup on my 48 volt uh, PMA. I went ahead and put an anemometer on there as well and it's probably mounted about 4 or 5 inches below the uh, the blades and uh, I've got it, uh, right now it's up about 26 feet but I've got another piece of pipe that'll, uh, that I'm going to be putting on it and a couple more guy wires that ought to bring it up to uh, the 32 foot height and uh, anyway I just wanted to show the update uh, from the 9 to the 12 blades and kind of just mention a few things that um, that I've kind of noticed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and go back inside here and uh, yeah, we'll we'll discuss a few a uh, few things. Um, you know, I was pretty excited to get the uh, 12 blades, and uh, went ahead and got the uh, got the blades put on and put it all back up in the air. And we had a couple a couple days of uh, some really good uh, some really good weather. And uh, as far as wind goes, we, we had some days that we had uh, anywhere between probably 15 and 20 uh, mile per hour winds actually about three days uh, to be exact of some really good wind conditions and you know I was really uh, looking forward to seeing with the 12 blades some uh, major power increases and as it turns out I noticed a few things uh, over the course of my experimentation for one um, there was a time when I broke a blade went down to six blades on a nine blade hub um, I broke one blade of the nine blade, so I had to take three off to, to keep it balanced. So I had six blades on a nine blade hub, and I noticed that um, that it seemed to produce that whooshing sound. Uh, if any of you guys have turbines, you know what I'm talking about. It makes like a whooshing sound when it goes really fast. It almost sounds like uh, like the wind is blowing uh, really, really well. But it made that whooshing sound probably at about 70 volts. And, uh, you know, as soon as I got my nine blades, my, my extra replacement blade, I got it put back on there. And the whooshing sound went, uh, it used to happen at 75 volts, and then the whooshing sound started happening a little lower. So those extra three blades seemed to, uh, to uh, make, make it make that sound at a lower voltage, which meant also that it made that whooshing sound at a lower shaft RPM. Well, I further noticed uh, just recently here when I went to the 12 blade setup uh, that the whooshing sound is happening at uh, not not 70 or 75 volts, uh, not 65 like it is approximately with the nine blades, but at about 55 volts. So it seems like the RPM and the, sh the associated shaft speed that you start to get that whooshing sound drops as you add blades. Now that potentially could be uh, probably due to the aerodynamic losses because you've got physically more blades and you have more blade tips that are basically essentially whipping uh, the air at the uh, outer periphery of the, uh, the turbine blades. And so that could be what's going on there. Now as far as power goes, I've not seen a great difference between the 9 and the 12 blades. And frankly, I'm kind of surprised. Um, I really haven't noticed any decrease in startup speed. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is the overall RPM of my wind turbine uh, at, with the 12 blades uh, versus the 9 blades. The 12 blades, the top end RPM seems to be lower. Also, there's more mass physically to the blade setup. And so it actually takes a little takes a little longer for it to go ahead and um, reach. Like if the wind gusts, it has a uh, has a lag time before it actually spins up. So it doesn't it doesn't um, you know with the wind speed when it changes really fast, it doesn't track as quickly as it would if uh, you have a lower physical mass of that hub and blade assembly. And actually that brings up a point, um, a couple things, uh, a couple trends that I'm seeing. Obviously the more mass that you have on your blades, the 
more more lag time there is. Uh, it's not as responsive to the wind, the quick uh, wind changes. Um, and that brings up uh, something I wanted to mention. Um, you know, I wish somebody would come up with a uh, uh, possibly a 12 blade hub or a 9 blade hub that's thick, um, that's made out of aluminum. So physically it'll be lighter than the steel hubs that we're using. So that'll cut down on the mass of the uh, the rotor and the uh, hub and blade assembly. That'll make it a little bit more responsive. Um, the other thing is that the aluminum will not pull the magnetic field away from the shaft, which on my permanent magnet alternator is steel. And when I when I put my steel hub up to my uh, my permanent magnet alternator, there's an attraction between the shaft, which is magnetized, and the steel hub, which is non-magnetized. So that tells me that I'm having some magnetic field that is leaving where it should be inside the PMA, and it's going to the outside where it's basically essentially useless. So I think by going with the aluminum hub, you're going to gain uh, a little little uh, quicker responsiveness of your wind turbine hub and blade assembly. Also, you'll lose less magnetic field from the uh, the powerful magnets that are inside the PMA. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention too is uh, it seems like it'd be a really good idea um, to go with a stainless steel shaft on the PMAs and that'll keep that magnetic field right where it needs to be inside there. So anyway, uh, for you guys that are um, doing work on making PMAs um, and blades and coming up with those type of setups, uh, I wanted to make mention that uh, it would be really uh, interesting to be able to play with a nice strong aluminum hub that would uh, you know that would be able to be used with a nine blade setup or 12 blade or 11 blade setup whatever you want to do. Um, if we get some aluminum hubs that's going to cut down a weight, it's going to make it more responsive and it'll reduce the trade-off going between a 9 and a 12 blade system. So uh, again, uh, like I mentioned, um, I wasn't, uh, you know, I, I was kind of surprised I wasn't getting, uh, you know, a 15 to 20 percent increase when I added those three extra blades and went from a 9 to a 12 blade setup. And I think partially from my observations during uh, during the three days of the the wind, uh, strong winds that we've had, have been that there's an increase in mass of the rotor and hub assembly, which um, you know, seems to make it less responsive to wind changes. Uh, the other thing is that there's more blades, there's, you know, more blade tips, and so that you have more physical uh, wind, um, you know, aerodynamic uh, drag issues and aerodynamic resistance from the extra blades. So that seemed to reduce the total power. So anyway, I just wanted to um, just give you a couple, couple thoughts. Uh, I've made a couple changes on my control uh, panel. I've added uh, on the left hand side right here I've got a, uh, a Sunlight 10 um, controller basically it hooks up to my solar panels and uh, you know when the sun goes down I've got a little little, uh, little switch here I can turn and it I can make make the, my uh, lights come on uh, my LED lights that's hooked to that the load come on for four hours or six hours or three hours whatever I set it to. So anyway, I got a separate charge controller for my uh, 60 watts of solar and uh, I kind of like that. And I'm using this controller here just strictly for my wind turbine. Um, and I'm still putting it through my DC to DC converters. Uh, but anyway, we just made a few changes uh, just to kind of uh, keep things going in the right direction. So anyway, I wanted to share that and uh, hopefully you guys have uh, enjoyed it. And uh, post comments, I would uh, be glad to hear what you guys have to say and uh, dialogue a little bit about the experience that maybe you guys have had with adding additional blades and some of your thoughts uh, as to why performance may uh, have degraded after you've added those blades. Alright, thanks guys. Look forward to hearing from you. Catch you later. Bye.